If you read the financial news, you've probably heard of a yield curve, but you might not know what it is. So a yield curve is simply a graph like this one right here, and it takes a particular financial instrument, in this case I'm going to do U.S. Treasuries, and then what it does is it plots the different yields of that financial instrument based on different times to maturity. So here's data that I got for July 7th, 2021. So this is actual data that I got for U.S. Treasuries based on the different times to maturity. So if you just had a one-year Treasury bill, you had a 10-year Treasury note, a 30-year uh, U.S. government bond. So these different Treasuries, different times to maturity. And I looked up the yield for each time to maturity. Okay, so one-year Treasury bill was 0.08%. Okay, now if you're wondering, well, what is even a yield? A yield is just the rate of return that an investor would expect to receive if they had bought the financial instrument on that date and held it to its maturity. Okay, so a one-year treasury bill, that date was 0.08% was the yield. 30-year bond, 1.94%. Now you'll notice that the yields actually go up. Right, they go up as the time to maturity gets higher. That's usually the case, and that explains why we have this upward slope with our yield curve. Now, the yield curve will not always have an upward slope, and I'll make a video where we talk about the different shapes of the yield curve and stuff. But typically, uh, the longer the, the maturity, uh, the longer the time horizon we're talking about, the higher the yield is going to be.